The cooler conditions have been a boon for firefighters trying to control a blaze south of Nowra. Overnight, the fire burnt through more than 4,000 hectares of bushland between Wandandian and Sussex Inlet. The Prince's Highway was closed for almost 24 hours, with some drivers forced to sleep in their cars. Leif Casbin reports from the town of Sussex Inlet in the Shoalhaven region. It was a blistering night. More than 100 firefighters worked to protect rural properties at Wandandian. Strong winds didn't help, pushing the fire through containment lines yesterday afternoon. With hundreds of residents unable to return home, some pets were left to fend for themselves. Efforts to contain the fire were ramped up, backburning across a wide front. Crews on the ground kept a close eye on outbreaks, while up above, aerial bombers crisscrossed the skies. Thanks to do, so I'll see you there soon. And with the cooler temperatures, there was finally some relief. I allowed our firefighters today to get containment uh, strategies in place and working on those containments overnight and hopefully tomorrow before heating up again on the weekend. The fire had closed the Princess Highway since mid-afternoon yesterday, stranding dozens of motorists. We sort of got stuck and it's just been a sort of horrible night sitting in the car. Really, it's been cold and tiring. I just want to go home. But it was several more hours before they could start moving and not everyone was happy. I saw the fire in the distance, miles away. I finally get here and they're blocking the road up. They're taking the piss, blocking the road up. Finally, the all clear. Tonight, no properties are under threat and residents have been allowed to return home. So it was a very exciting night. You must be exhausted. Yeah, now I've got to go and water, put a water around here in case the fire comes this way. Firefighters still have plenty to do here over the next few days. With the return to high temperatures on Friday and Saturday, fire crews remain on high alert. Leave Casbin, ABC News, south of Nowra. Well, even away from the fires, plenty of people were tired and grumpy today after getting very little sleep during the hottest night on record. At midnight, the temperature in Sydney was still more than 34 degrees. It wasn't until the wee hours that the state finally cooled off. But don't get too used to it. More hot weather is just around the corner. The surf lifesavers had long since knocked off, so swimmers had to bring their own. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Sydney's beaches were an oasis from the unprecedented heat. At midnight last night it was still 34 and a half degrees and we've never seen that before for Sydney area. Bondi was a refuge for those tired of tossing and turning in bed. It's a good feeling to be at the beach at yeah. 1 o'clock in the morning and being able to swim at the same time. Firefighters on the edge of Sydney still had work to do. Just after midnight, a burning tree threatened homes. I looked straight out the window this, uh, to find the, the fire, the tree well alight with the flames about 20, 25 metres in the air. There was also anger today from the Premier over yesterday's alleged arson attack at Shalvey in Sydney's west. Three teenagers have been charged and granted bail. I just express community frustration that uh, they were immediately released. I still think that, uh, personally still think that uh, keeping them overnight or keeping them for two nights might have uh, helped sink the message in. The prospect of more damaging fires will increase as it hots up again on Friday and Saturday, but Sydney will be spared the worst. Places in western New South Wales could well see daytime temperatures reach 47 degrees and that's, that's close to the highest that they've seen out there. 2,000 volunteers worked in the field today to get as many fires under control as possible before the change kicks in. So conditions that will, fires will run very, very quickly and very hard, but luckily not quite to the same extent as yesterday because the wind speeds won't, won't be the same level. Camping will again be off limits in many parts of the state. Police believe that someone staying at this campsite near Cooma was responsible for starting a major fire. David Spicer, ABC News.